Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. Today I want to talk to you about a condition called optic atrophy, but before we do, let's talk about how you can connect with us. Our phone number is 618-288-1489 if you're local. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and you have a couple of options. You can either click on the schedule a consultation directly with me or you can fill out a questionnaire and get some feedback about your vision. Now let's go back to talking about optic atrophy. Now I do have some pictures to show you. I kind of dug these out of the archives off of my bookshelf from an old book from optometry school but in this picture what you're looking at here this yellow spot is the optic nerve and it's what it looks like when you look at the back of the eye which is red here this retina and there are blood vessels kind of over the top of it they come in through the optic nerve into the eye so in optic atrophy there's not a lot of color to the nerve it's just kind of like yellow or white in a normalized optic nerve this picture actually has some problems with the retina itself, but I'm using the nerve to show you what looks like kind of normal. You can see that that outer edge has like a pink rim tissue. And so normally the optic nerve will kind of look like pink rim tissue. And then there's kind of a hollow spot where the blood vessels come into the eye through the optic nerve. And in optic atrophy, the entire thing will look kind of hollow. It will look all kind of like yellow or white. There won't be that real distinct, nice, healthy pink rim tissue. What happens for someone who has optic atrophy is that it can affect their eyesight anywhere from 20, maybe they see 2020 still, but it could range all the way up to about 2400 where it affects them and what they're seeing clearly. And um, what do we do about it? If we have someone who has optic atrophy, you know, what are the things that you can potentially do to help someone? Well, first of all, one of the things that we do is we want to try and determine what the cause of the optic atrophy is. If it happened to come from something like medication or trauma or inflammation, then we may recommend that patients go on a protocol that that we don't do, but um, a nutritionist that we work with will provide for our patients. And if that's the case, then we are like, let's get you on a protocol of vitamins and supplements that you may need, um, basically to detoxify the brain and provide any kind of support to the optic nerve to help it to be more healthy and functioning. <clears throat> and then on top of that, what do we do? Well, we are going to treat that patient as though they have a condition called amblyopia. Amblyopia is where the eyesight does not develop properly in one eye or sometimes in both eyes, which is also called bilateral. Now in optic atrophy, it can occur in one eye or it can be bilateral. Most of the time it's going to be bilateral, but there are obviously many cases of a unilateral or one-sided kind of optic atrophy. Doesn't matter which one it is. We're going to treat it like an amblyopia case, whether it's in one or in both eyes. And in amblyopia, what we do is we use specific filters called syntonics or sometimes also called photosyntonics. And we use the filters to trigger electrical responses within the brain, more specifically in cases of optic atrophy where we're treating it like it's an amblyopia. We're triggering the nerve in the brain to be able to process seeing things more clearly. We in general are able to get about a two line, sometimes even more, but on average two lines of improvement seen on the Snell and Letter Acuity chart. Some of our patients do get better than that. Again, they might get three or four or five lines of improvement depending upon how severe their optic atrophy is and how long they've had it. Now, let's take a peek through the filter that we use. It's this nice bright yellowy filter that we use. You can see that. Um, and that's the filter that we use for patients who have amblyopia as well as optic atrophy, trying to trigger the brain to be able to uh, process seeing things more clearly. Now, if you or someone you know happens to have optic atrophy and you felt like you're just, you know, you're stuck and there's nothing that you can do, that's not true. You're not stuck. There's nothing that you can, there's not nothing that you can do. There is something that you can do. Um, if you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, you can, can go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. Fill out either a questionnaire or click to schedule a consultation directly with me, and we'll talk about how we might be able to help you um, to improve your visual acuity, maybe two, three, or four lines of eyesight better. Um, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button on our video and also like and subscribe 
or subscribe to our, our channel so that you can see all of our videos. And last thing is, I always like to end with this if it's important, um, like this video is, which is if you know someone who has optic atrophy, maybe it's not you, but maybe it's a friend or a relative or someone that you love, please pass the video along. You're giving them potentially the gift of better eyesight and vision overall, and there's really no price tag that you can put on that. Thank you.